Safeguarding documents. The basics. Disaster can strike at any time and with little notice. There are certain important documents and items you may need after a disaster and that are difficult to replace. Do not wait until a disaster is imminent to gather these items. Prepare now. You can do this by making copies and storing them somewhere away from your home, but that is still safe and secure. You can also add them to an emergency preparedness kit that you can take with you on short notice. In a pinch, you can at least snap photos of these on a smartphone. It's much better than nothing. But always lock your phone. Identity theft is also a danger. Here are the top six documents that everyone should keep safe. 1. Basic identification. Make sure you have at least a copy of a driver's license, birth certificate, passport, or green card. Ideally, you'll have all of these, so we kind of cheated. Critically, in order to qualify for emergency FEMA assistance, you need to be able to prove that you are a U.S. citizen or a lawful resident. 2. Health insurance card. Keep your card with you. You should also snap a photo of the card and email it to yourself. You'll want to minimize the chances that you'll be denied access to health care after a disaster just because you don't have a card. 3. A list of important medications and doses. In case you are unable to return home for a while, and if your health care providers are also displaced, it's good to have a reminder of the medications you need. 4. Real estate deed or lease. Proof of where you live is critical. It can be important for qualifying for various kinds of government benefits and to defend against an eviction. For example, if a landlord tries to keep you from returning home. 5. A basic household inventory. Ideally with photos or videos. This is useful for a variety of reasons, but can be particularly important for insurance claims. 6. Other important insurance documents. Particularly, disability insurance or any disaster-related insurances, flood, homeowners, renters, whatever you've got. If you have this basic set of documents backed up and with you, you will save yourself a lot of headaches. You can get started by just taking photos on your phone.